currently to play Carmix, I have to use the old T300. Now, most artists indeed send me a brand new direct drive wheel, the R5. Unfortunately, Carmix does not support that wheel. But Carmix does support the R9. So I asked Moza to send me the R9 steering wheel. And today, the package arrived. So let's do the unboxing and set it up. And boys, here it is. We're gonna open it up. It is pretty expensive, so we gotta be careful. Oh, baby. And if you want Bob the Goose to eat this month, you better subscribe. So let's see what's inside of the box. The manual. Some kind of cables. And here is the wheel reveal. We're gonna peel that. So we're gonna replace the R5 with the R9 so we can play Carrex with a direct drive wheel. And to compare, this is the old R5 on top and the new R9 at the bottom. The R9 is slightly bigger. Here are the old R5 pedals. Fun fact, R5 pedals, they do not work with R9. So we have new pedals over here. CRP racing pedals. And here is the base of the pedals. It is honestly pretty heavy. Like you could even whack somebody with it. All right, we're gonna put it away. So let's see what else do we have here. A badge, a box, which contains some tools and some tools. We're gonna put it away for now. And here is the pedal. Check it out. You can see the pedal has this little cable as well. We're gonna put the first pedal away for a second because more bags and more pedals. The second pedal is really similar to the first pedal. However, the second pedal doesn't have a cable. The third bag, another bag, another pedal. The brake pedal, however, is a special pedal. All the other pedals connect into the brake pedal. So the brake pedal is basically like a CPU. An accelerator is the only pedal that looks different. And now we're gonna have to mount these pedals. Now they also sent me a CM Racing Dash. It's like a little TV, it's 4K, 1080p, 23 inches. Yeah, well, check it out. I didn't ask for this, but here it is. And I guess you put it behind your wheel. Uh, thank you for the screen. So I did mount one pedal. It looks good. Then I put the accelerator on the right side and connected it into the brake pedal. And also make sure you connect all the pedals into the brake pedal. And we also have this cable. One side goes into the main brake pedal as well. And the other side is a USB which goes into your PC. So current setup is here. We're gonna be removing this T300. So let's unscrew that. And uh, let's make some room for our direct draw wheel now guys the t300 has been removed and here is my old moza racing r5 steering wheel which is great but we need to replace the r5 with the r9 today so let's remove our fancy wheel from the r5 here is the back side of the wheel now the table mount over here we need to put it on the r9 instead we're gonna just slide that over here. R5 base on the left, R9 on the right side. Table mount is ready. We're gonna set it on the table. We're gonna reattach the wheel on the new base. Gotta make sure everything feels right. And we might have to adjust the position, but for now, we're good. Now, funny thing, if you look at the throttle and the clutch, I can press them easily. Now, look at the brake pedal. The brake pedal is so heavy that I can't even push it all the way down but we can make it softer later and this is the moment of truth we are in a set of corza we're gonna try out the new wheel the new pedals and uh, it will take some time to get used to the pedals are absolutely stiff but the wheel is acting really weird i'm not sure what is happening but when i transition the wheel loses all the force feedback for a second let me try this again transitioning and the wheel stops, I don't know why. It's kinda weird. It literally stops. And my car wasn't hitting anything. I was just transitioning. So we're definitely gonna have to figure that issue out. Let's try again, maybe it was a one time thing and nope, it is doing the same exact thing again. Maybe it's the car, or maybe it's the wheel, maybe it's the software, I'm not sure. I am drifting, transitioning and the same thing, the wheel locks up and it just makes me crash. <laughs> So we're gonna try it out with a different car. Maybe it was a car issue. We picked a different car. But this car is very low horsepower. It doesn't even want to drift in second gear. <laughs> Let me try again. If not, we might have to change our car. Yeah, this ain't working. So we are here with the 180SX, which has a lot of boost. Let's see. We're drifting. We're looking good. Okay, we're gonna come to a transition. We're gonna transition and the wheel locks up again. So it's not the car. So maybe it's a software issue, right? 
we are updating the software of the Moza Racing R9 wheel now. Bob is looking pretty unhappy as well. The wheel is successfully updated. Let's try it out. So this is uh, attempt number two with a new updated software. We're gonna go into the same corner as we do. Oh my goodness. Okay, I spun out there. <laughs> Wait, I believe I have no force feedback at all. Where is my force feedback? Okay, let me try to unplug everything. Two years later, we're back. We unplugged everything and it's still not working. So maybe we just messed up our set of course of settings. Let's try out a different game, shall we? Let's see how the wheel handles in Carrex. And here is our first attempt in Carrex. We're gonna try to enter a slide over here. The front wheels are acting really weird. I don't know what is happening with the car. Okay, I think I have a feeling the steering assist is going on and off like at random times i don't know why so let's try to change the game controller settings maybe that will help and with the new settings our wheel is still not working now i do see this message that warns me there might be a loss of force feedback so we're using slightly older version of the software let's see if that makes anything better maybe the latest one is a little bit bugged. let's check it out transition and it's still broken so we're gonna have to dig into some settings and i did find something very interesting hands off protection i turn it off now please tell me this works if this doesn't work i don't know what else to do i'm literally out of ideas here is once again my famous corner of test we're doing the transition letting go of the wheel and it's working finally after all these years it was just one setting the hands off protection yes now it does make a lot of sense if you're racing and this wheel is meant for racing you're gonna be touching the wheel but sim drifters let go of the wheel and this is meant to protect your hands when you crash so if you're a drifter you gotta disable that setting well we got it working in a set of corza but our main goal is to get it working in car x we're gonna pick a nice smooth drift car we're gonna go with loki 4m for example we're gonna enter east toge over here so now that all the settings are perfect on the wheel we're gonna try it out in car x and it just goes nuts over here um there is something wrong with the steering assist if you look at the top of the screen the steering assist is on and sometimes it's even off but why is it toggling on and off in the middle of the drift just look at the front wheels how am i supposed to drift like that and my overall wheel setting should be fine because i did play carrex with my t300 and it was fine so let's go into the settings once again something has to be broken right i mean game controller setting i don't know if this is gonna change anything i think that is for controllers not steering wheels but listen we can change that anyway second attempt we did change the controller to steering wheel let's see if the assist is going nuts and it is so the r9 is not working in carrex Fun fact, Carrex did say they added R9 steering wheel support into the game. They updated the game and said R9 is working. Well, I tested it and the wheel support is broken. Carrex, hopefully you're gonna fix the R9 wheel support because right now it is literally unplayable. I've heard that the other direct drive wheels also have very poor support in Carrex. And more and more people are using direct drive steering wheels. Direct drive wheels are getting more common. Hopefully you enjoyed this unboxing video guys. Make sure you drop that like, subscribe, and as always, stay sideways. Peace!